This is Abe Friedhanser from Awards Watch, and I'm so thrilled to be speaking with Jay Rosenblatt about how do you measure a year? How are you, Jay? I'm good, thank you. How are you doing? Good. It's nice to be able to speak again. Last year, we talked about When We Were Bullies, which was nominated for Best Documentary Short at the Oscars. And now you have another film on the shortlist, uh, yes. which is similarly personal, but very different in focus. Was this idea of recording your daughter and asking her the same questions every year something you came up with? Or was it an inspiration from something else for that? Uh, no, I, you know, we had done some films together. We, I'd start filming her when she was born, actually. And um, one of the first films I did with her was called I Used to Be a Filmmaker. And um, it was such a great experience that I just thought, oh, we should at least film each other. Uh, I should at least film her on her birthday every year. And I had no idea if it would ever be a film but when it started, but it is one now. Well, I'm most impressed that you did it every year because I feel like things always happen. Life gets in a way. There's some year that, you know, you lost the footage or you had something else going on, a medical emergency, something. Did you have to sort of fudge everything or was it all sort no, of on no, those no. days? Nothing's fudged. It's, it was on her birthday every year. And as she got older, it became more, a little bit more difficult because she had plans and but she managed to fit it in. We didn't do a set time on the birthday, so sometimes it was late morning, afternoon, but no, it was every year from age two to 18. And how does she feel about this being out there as a film? She loves it. Uh, she was a little embarrassed by a couple of moments, <clears throat> but she was involved in seeing the rough cut and I, I made sure to run it by her before. <laughs> I said, you know, this could, you know, be out in the world and who knows where it's going to go and she she's she's excited about it and she likes showing it to her friends that kind of thing it's fun also i noticed that at the beginning you sort of do this montage where you show all the pictures rather than have us wait to see as she grows up was that a, something you knew you wanted to do from the start no not at all that was just in the editing because what i realized is uh one of the thrills is just to see this growth of a person each year how they change and I thought I'd give a little preview of it if it's kind of quick. So you really see the change and then you see it in a little different way with, you know, her answering the questions and spending more time on each year. Did you notice how you had changed from year to year looking back in this editing process? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not in it that much. Uh, uh, so not physically, but I, yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I'm a lot grayer now, but uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't personality wise, I don't know how much I've changed in those years. Um, my pop personality was pretty formed by the time I started this film. <laughs> but well, hers, well, hers, hers wasn't. So she's, you know, each year she has a different energy and different look and it, it's pretty amazing. Absolutely. Are you still checking in on birthdays with her or is that done now? No, actually we did. <clears throat> she was at college when she turned 19 and we did a Zoom of it. And I thought at, at one point I thought it might be like in the end credits of this film. Uh, but and it, it's very sweet. Um, but I like the way I decided to end it because it, it has this bittersweet ending. And I felt like when we went to see her in college in her dorm room, it it just uh, it it made the film a little lighter at that moment. And I don't think it needed that. I think it's it stays with you in a deeper way, um, the way it ends now. I think it's nice also that sort of is a closed loop that while I think we're all interested in seeing what happens next, that's not that's not this project. That's something else. And I think that's hopefully something to look forward to. I don't know what that will be, but. <laughs> um, do you have a desire to, uh, you know, involve your family more in future projects? You know, I think this kind of thing, she's, you know, she's on her own now more and, you know, she's um, a senior in college and uh, it, it's just too difficult to, uh, you know, arrange. Um, but you never know. Uh, I have no plan. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Well, fortunately, this film is on the Oscar shortlist for Best Documentary Short, and so Academy voters will be able to see it. What about the rest of uh, potential audiences? Well, I'm really hoping to uh, 
sell it to, you know, to like a streamer or, or some channel. That's what happened last year. Um, so we'll see. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm hopeful, but it hasn't happened yet. Um, I think it will. Well, I'm, I'm sure something good will come of this. And uh, I appreciated the chance to get to see the film and to speak with you again. I wish you plenty of luck with distribution uh, and at the Oscars. Thank you. Thank you, Abe. Good to talk to you again. You too.